Okie dokie, let's show you how to use the newborn actions. So this is in no way replacing the Bow Baby um, newborn collection. This is for fresh whites. So whites, creams, beiges, like all those nice fresh tones. So I'm going to start off with the Blend the Solid Colour Backdrop. I'm going to hit continue. This is going to pop up. So it does say on the instruction, instruction box. Hit enter. Use your eyedropper tool. So I'm going to select a colour that is nearest the background that I want to mask over. So that's here. Then I'm going to hit OK. And using a white brush at 100% opacity, I'm going to mask that over. So if you needed to mask um, a different colour over here, just replay the action. So you just mask it here and then replay it over here. Okay, I'm going to switch to about 40% opacity and just feather that down. Then I'm going to switch to my black brush. And I'm just going to go around... The bit of where I've gone over where I didn't want to. So I'm just going around the hat. You can see that the hat is fading out there. These bits we can fix on something else with another action, so it's fine. Okay, so we've done that, we've fixed the background. Turn that off and on, you can see the difference. I'm now going to, so clean up is if you've got any like little, so you might like, so things like this. So if you had any little bits of fluff on your backdrop um, or anything like that, then you just use this action. You can see it just gets rid of them. So anything, any little bits of fluff, but there's not really anything, so. Let's carry on. So we've got fresh base. So it's just going to give you a nice fresh base. You can see that is a really nice fresh base for... It's nice and creamy. You can absolutely just do your skin edit and brighten a little bit and move on. You wouldn't need to do anything else. That fresh, break, fresh base is really nice. So let's do that. Let's come down. We'll go to clean the flakes. So again, this is just going to clean up any flakes that are on the skin. So you can just, you don't have to mask it all over the skin. You can just click wherever the little flakes are. You can absolutely mask it over the skin if you want to. Just be careful not to go too far near the edges or the nose and stuff like that. Okay, then we've got soft baby skin. So I'm going to mask this on at 100% opacity. And you can see that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous soft skin. That's not too blurred out. You've still got some texture in there. But again, you can use your opacity slider. You can change... The strength of this you don't have to have it at 100% opacity if you don't want to you don't have to have that really smooth skin so let's play around this so what I like to do as well is go down all the way to zero and then come up bit by bit and see where I like my sweet spot so about there is nice but also, 100 is nice as well. So just have a play around and see what you like. Okay. So then we have dreamy skin. So that's going to play. And then I can just very, very simply mask that over my model. I'm going to mask that off those dark areas there. So you can see it just gives that little bit extra. Again, neutral opacity slider. Then I love this one, soft peachy skin tone. It just gives that really, really nice. Look at that. It just gives that really, really nice skin tone. I absolutely love that. We've got baby fair skin, baby warm skin. So if you wanted to make baby a little bit brighter with a bit more pale complexion, you can do that. You can warm baby up 
We've got some blush there. And also you can mask that on the lips as well to make the lips a little bit pinker. Let's mask a little bit of that off. Fix yellow skin if there's any yellow skin. And then we've got some um, actions that are for the whole picture. So I'll play them and you can see the difference. Um, we have... Let me just click this actually, white base. And then I'm just going to mask some of that on here. Just so it gives us that really nice um, base for the actions. So you can see I've just masked that onto the background. It's gone a little bit over the head, so I'm just going to mask that off. Okay, so we'll turn that off and on. Right, okay, let's go boho chic. So this is like, um, it'll go a little bit darker, but you can absolutely come down and use your Brighton brush instead of masking any off. So you can keep the colour and you can mask that brightness on there so you can brighten it up. It won't necessarily make every image dark. It depends on your lighting, on all the other tones and everything like that. Okay, so I do love that one. Then we have... Oh, so creamy. So it'll give that nice creamy. We've got fresh white, which is really pretty. Look how, look how perfect that is for a white image. So gorgeous. We have, um, let's have a look. Beautiful contrast again, which is so nice and just really, really clean. Look at that beautiful. Um, then we have soft shadow finish so it'll just really nicely lift those shadows turn that off and on it's really subtle creamy haze white haze you can use the black brush and mask them off so bring that focus back if you wanted to you don't have to so they are just really really handy if you're just creating those really beautiful white images um soft and dreamy it'll just give like a really dreamy softness to your image textured overlay i really love this one i'll show it you and zoom in so you can see it's like a kind of like a canvas and then you can mask off the face if you wanted um and then we've got the brushes so we've got brighton brush shadow brush contrast brush and it literally does what it says on the tin so the brighton brush is gonna brighten the shadow brush can't get my words out, <laughs> is going to add shadow. Um, what else have we got here? Contrast bu brush is going to add contrast. Uh, desaturate brush is going to do exactly that. Desaturate. Saturation brush. The white and brush will just give you that overall whiteness whiteness white back to the image so you can just really have a really good play with these and you're going to just get the most beautiful white images and again play with those opacity sliders don't leave them at 100 percent. you can definitely whack them back up to 100 percent, but have a play around with them and see see what happens and see what you love but you're just going to get the most beautiful white newborn images with these actions. I hope you enjoy them. Bye everyone.